Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't posted a video in a while, uh, but it's because I've been working on the server. I've been trying to get friends to help me out on stuff like this. This is just a world we made. And I've been working on something pretty cool. Wireless redstone. This button. I can test for it using this command. Test for block. Stone button 11. So the coordinates is going to be relative coordinates, obviously. And then the uh, data values are the description going to say which data values, which like south has a data value of 11 for a pressed button. So if I press it, at 11. If I do this, it'll say it had an expected tree. So if they expect it a 3, and that had 11, it's not going to do it. If I do this, it's going to successfully find the block. To test out this theory, that comparator's on. If I do this, it is off. And I do that. And for this one, I'm going to do it like this, because it's easier. This one, it's up. And that is like 13. And 12. What's funny is that highest value is up because it's the highest on the scale. So if you think about it, it's it's kind of like like it's kind of like this totem pole. My Christmas is clean. I don't know. We're uh, making cookies, and I'm happy because I love cookies. We all love cookies. But yeah, it's kind of like this totem pole, which I love totem poles because they really teach us old ways. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's how the ground, lowest data value, data value 8, the highest data value is the sky, 13, and then we have our in-betweens, we have our north, south, east, and west, but what's funny is that it goes north, south, west, east, because these data values are backwards, if you put that three, Negative Z is north, positive Z is south, and then west is negative X, east. So if you think about it, the positives are going to have the lower values. Again, yeah, see, positives have lower values. They're looking towards the sky, and there's a lower value. Or the higher value is the Yeah, you, you get it, you get it, you get it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this. So yeah, I can clear these buttons too. Entity. Take. Just need to be not declared. Yay. So you get anything. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, but yeah, you can add radius to that's just a really fun command to use. This, I would have to place... This, to have a comparator command. So, it says, oh, it's successfully found it. So, they're on. They're all on. Ah, uh, wait. Now that they're all on, all these comparators are on, if I update it with something else, so I'll just grab this sound block in here, that's easy. It's not pressed, so it's off. That button, it says it has a data value of zero, because it's lower. And then if you do this, it will both turn on, because this has a data value of five. This has a data value of two, because it's not a pressed button. Oh, come on. Of course. Oh my god. it like this, and then I'll do this again. Okay, <laughs> it's off, because it has a data value of 4. This one has a data value of 1, and this one has a data value of 3. So yeah, these data values will be in the description below. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!